who will take charge of the Republican Party now? As the 43rd president flew out of Washington on Inauguration Day, the party he left behind is in tatters. Within the space of two elections, Republicans lost control of the White House and Congress and are now searching for a way back from the political wilderness. I, I think there's a lot of soul-searching going on. Is there a conclusion to that soul-searching? Uh, that, that may take um, some time. The job of rebuilding starts this week when the GOP, meeting in Washington, picks a new party chairman. With no Republican leader in the House, Senate or White House, the task falls to the next Republican chairman to regroup the party in time for the 2010 midterm elections and beyond. But first, the chairman will have to put behind the results of the 2008 presidential race. Not since the aftermath of Watergate have we been represented by so few Republicans in Congress, governor's offices, state houses, and the White House. I share the disappointment of all Republicans around the results of the presidential election. The way you build our party back is from the shoestrings up. What Republicans are looking at is this process of rebuilding this majority coalition that seemed to fall apart in both the 2006 and 2008 elections. Current chairman Mike Duncan is facing off against former Maryland Lieutenant Governor Michael Steele and former Ohio Secretary of State Ken Blackwell, two of the GOP's most prominent blacks who would bring diversity to the party. Added to the race are two current and one former state Republican chairman, South Carolina's Caton Dawson, we Michigan's Saul Anousis, and Tennessee's Chip Saltzman, all who highlight their local organizing skills. So far, they have waged a low-key campaign, save for Saltzman, who drew protests when he sent committee members a CD featuring a 2007 parody song called Barack the Magic Negro. Republican National Committee members will pick the next chairman Friday. Oh yeah, we're down, but we're not out. Uh, you know, we need a new voice, uh, we need a stronger direction. Step one in the party's effort to get back on the track of electoral success. Tracy Brown, The Associated Press.